Well, I think my faith is kind of like um, an all-knowing companion, kind of like a narrator of a story that they know how it works out, but I don't. So they kind of help me in my walk of faith, and they kind of nudge me in the right places and making the right decisions. I've always believed that if I can go here, I want to go here. If I want to do this, I can do this. I just believe every day. Have my mom back me up and believe in everything she tells me. I always told her I believe in myself and just keep my head straight and just try to focus on the good things and not the bad things because I know the future is bright and you never know what could happen. Faith has um, kind of given me an element of security. Uh, I remember it was way back when Chuck was our preacher and he did the sermon on fear and there was this one Bible verse and it was like, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. Um, I think Isaiah 41.10. And he just, and I remember the whole sermon was about like fear is the opposite of faith and you can go to God and use your faith to combat fear and to feel safe in your life and to keep moving forward even when things are hard. My faith has been a really big role in the, just the, the way I have lived ever since I became a member of this church and I got baptized to graduating from high school. It's really helped me making big life decisions. There's a lot of big events out there where um, there's a lot of questions I have and um, some I have right now at this moment. And then I'm just so glad I have like Shane and all the members of the church that I can lean towards to, for, the, for the advice. Throughout high school, I took a lot of AP and honors classes that wore down on me, and I also had a lot of family stuff going on during the time. So I could always turn to God and ask Him for help and knew that He was there to listen to me when I needed my prayers answered. It's helped me keep the mindset that whenever something is going wrong in my life, I can just pray. And it's really comforting to know that God is always looking down and watching everything that happens and that He has a plan for me. Knowing that I have that comfort has just helped me get through every issue or any problem I've had in life because it makes me feel calm and know that someone out there is helping me and looking down on me. Well, a couple of bad things has tried to like happen in my life and I always, you know, for me coming to church made me keep positivity in my life. Faith has always been a big part of my life. My parents introduced it to me, but I was, I was baptized when I was eight, and that was solely mine and my sister's choice. And I feel like it's really, um, I wouldn't be who I am today without faith. Like God's always something I know I can turn to in a bad time. It's allowed me to remain um, grounded. I, there's a lot of hardships in life. There's a lot of things that require a lot of energy, that require a lot of um, time. And you know, sometimes they are really they take a lot of energy out of you. Faith has always kept me going in the right direction and the better path towards my life. Um, without faith, I'm, I wouldn't really be doing good things or anything, I feel like, like just because of faith. I'm just going towards the right path. I feel like I'm, I feel good about myself and what I'm doing. I've had some very strong moments and some wonderful times, but I've also had a lot of struggle and all throughout that time, I've kept my faith and God's always been there with me. My faith has impacted my journey, mostly through serving others and going on all, all of these youth trips and all these Sunday, Sunday church services and I, just seeing it through others. Just seeing how he works through everybody is inspiring to me and it shows me how to how to treat others and how to act when I'm around everyone and mostly how to spread his example. It's been like a really big source of hope. Uh, there's been a lot of like challenges. And I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot more because I'm still young and of course there's a lot of life ahead of me hopefully, but there's, a, there's also been a lot of hardships and I think that faith is one of the biggest things that's like a motivator or if it's not a motivator, it at least tells you like there's still something to keep going for. Like it's not like everything is, is bad. There's something that, that's good that's still waiting for you. So it's been a big motivation. As I've always been told and I've always believed is God has the answer and he knows what he's doing. And yes, I've had my doubts, we all have. Uh, but in the end, I've always stayed strong in believing that big man knows what's up. 
and just normally ask to help get through these tough times. There's people at school I see that don't have God within them, that can't follow through with His Word. And it's hard to not, I guess, try to explain to them the reasons why they shouldn't be doing that because it's like no one wants to listen, no one wants to believe that He can do the good that He can. But I know that there's a bigger plan and God has a plan for everything. Having that faith and having that kind of, um, having God to lean back on is kind of, is very reassuring and it allows you to always rem remember that you're not alone and that there is someone there that cares about you and loves you endlessly. I believe that my faith will impact the rest of my life by, I know that I always can have God on my side. I can have Him there to listen to me when no one else does or when I just feel like giving up. I know that He has a reason for everything. Definitely in college I want to find a church or at least a group of people to like worship with. Um, and I know I want to still continue on with my faith and do whatever I can to stay strong in it since I won't be here. Um, and definitely having my faith is going to keep me on the better side of things, I guess I could say, um, because it's going to help me make morally better decisions and guide me through life. And again, the whole issue with like if I have a problem, I can pray, you know? So I think it'll keep me in a better light. With faith, I feel like I'm already becoming a better person, like as of now. And as I continue to have faith, I will continue to grow mentally and physically. Uh, I'll continue to grow as a person and I will always have like good sights on the future. So I feel like I'm definitely going on a better path with faith. Well, I want to be an elementary school teacher and work with kids with learning disorders. And I think that I want to use my faith and um, try to do God's work with those kids and um, help them with their own challenges and um, teach them faith as well. I'm going to stay strong in my beliefs, and if it comes into question, I will defend myself in how I can. Well, right now, I feel like the future is kind of uncertain for me. You know, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, but no matter what happens, I know that God's always going to be with me. I've always heard that like keeping your faith in college is very hard, so I think that having a strong faith in college kind of makes you an example to people. It kind of, like I was saying earlier with the the hope, it's almost like some people feel like they've gone to college and now they're, they're so far away from their faith they can never come back to it. But if you keep your faith in college, it's kind of an example that like, or it gives hope to other people that they can still come back to faith or they can still have faith even though a lot of things have changed and you maybe strayed away and you don't think that that's as realistic as it really is. I think that knowing that there's something bigger than me out there that's watching over me can really help because without that, it would just make a lot of hard times a lot harder. I think it's going to keep me to become a great person that I could be and um, keeping me positive. My faith is going to be everything because uh, I'm going to need it to um, help me just make smarter decisions and uh, more godly decisions as I get older and go off to college and then start my career out in the real world. Having that faith is going to allow me to remember, um, I guess, kind of my roots. Um, I think it will allow me to remember who I am. I'll remember all of the smiling faces that I see on Sunday mornings. I'll remember all of the mission trips that I went on. I'll remember all these things. And, and I can remember who I am as well as it'll push me to join a ministry once I'm in college. And it'll help me to kind of find those same smiling faces and find that same comfort here that I found all of those years. He, he'll he take good care of us, so whatever he wants to happen will happen. And I think just having someone to lean on, having someone to talk to about everything is, even like whatever happens in the future, we can always go to him. He'll always be there. Believing at what I can do and how good I can do it, like really like just like staying focused and like having my family as my background and everything, just like staying focused and having them help me with everything. Well, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know. And I, I think I'm okay with not knowing. I mean, I try not to really think too hard into the future because I'm more interested in um, thinking about my present. But 
I hope that my faith can be right there next to me, just like walking along like an old friend. I would say don't try to fit in with everyone else. Follow your faith in the way that you want to follow it, the way that you believe is a good path for you. Don't try to fit in with the trends or anything. Do what's best for you because in the end, God knows what's best for you and He will make that happen. Know that it always gets better. You know, even when you've hit your worst, chances are that there's only one way to go and that's up. My best advice for them is to always lean on your friends. Always trust in your friends and always have a good, like, faith relationship with them. Like, talk to them about your faith and talk to them about what you're going through. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That's like one of the biggest things for me. I remember it's like there's so many things that you don't understand and you're afraid to ask the questions because you feel like you're supposed to know the answers or you're expected to know the answers, but just ask the questions that you have because it's only going to make you feel better. It's only going to reduce your stress if you're thinking about stuff or questioning things. Like you need to be able to be comfortable asking them. Um, trust in God and trust in your friends and family and the people that are there to support you. I want to be a person that can uh, you just sh show um, the word of the Lord to uh, several people that I know and maybe someone who's, you know, having a bad day. And I want to be, um, at one point in my life, I want to make it a commitment to be um, a part of this church's um, just overall um, community. Just know that someone's always there for you no matter what. Even when it feels like there's no one there, God's there for you. Have faith and try to block out all the temptations and all the noise. Always have like, always have faith and listen to the good. Don't change yourself. Um, God made you the way that you are. Um, he made you in His image. He loves every part of you and you shouldn't be ashamed of any part of yourself. Um, I think that it's really helpful to be true to yourself. Stay strong, I guess, would be the correct answer. Like normally I'd wear a cross to show it and on my shirt it says Metallica and you wouldn't think people would listen to that and be religious, but people do. And so you can still enjoy the stuff you enjoy and still have a belief system. One thing I will say to everyone is no matter what, just stick with it. Even though if it may seem hard or if life is just difficult and you think like, how is this helping me or nothing's better through this, like God is always going to be there for you no matter what and everyone in this youth group loves and supports you no matter how much you may think they don't. So no matter what you're going through, you always have people here to turn to and then God to turn to. So no matter what, like you always have this support group and you can't ever be alone or feel like there's no one there for you because there always will be. So just stick with it because in the end you will look back and be so thankful. Just believe in God and, you know, be a faithful person. I tell them the future is bright and you never know what could happen. You know, it's times where kids may feel down and like nothing's like working for them, but if you just believe in what you can do and believe in what something good will come along around the world, like around the road with the hardships, and just believe and everything will go good. Just the future is bright for everyone, no matter who you are.